Hello, welcome to this week's edition of Physics Labs on Video. It's not the best, but it's the best we can do. So this week's lab is all about Faraday's Law. In fact, it's not just one experiment, it's, it's several different experiments that we're going to do together. I'll collect the data and you'll analyze it. So as you can imagine, the first thing that I'm going to, to say to you is go read the, the lab handout. But before you do that, I just want to say something. When you read the lab handout, you're going to find that some of the text is struck through. Um, and that's because of the way we're doing these labs. Here's the deal. We're near the end of the semester. This is one of the last labs we do. And so what we were going to do was show you how the equipment works the basic ideas of Faraday's law with the equipment and then turn you loose to do your own experiments and to design your own experiments. Well, we can't quite do that because you're not here to think, think it through and I'm going to do the experiments. And what I'm going to do them the way I thought you might and hoped you might do them and I'll collect the data and you'll analyze it. So the part that's struck through is just something that we're not quite able to do in the video format. But, I hope you'll see, we're still able to do a lot of learning about Faraday's Law. So that's where there's the struck through. The other thing I'm going to tell you before you go and read it is uh, you're going to need Logger Pro. And you can get Logger Pro. It's a free download from vernier.com. Uh, the URL for doing that for both Mac and Windows is in the syllabus. And either the original syllabus or the updated syllabus is on Blackboard. You just click download and install the way you install other software. Well, the reason is I'm going to distribute the data as logger profiles instead of just printing out the graphs. That way you've got the entire file and you can do the whole analysis and you can make graphs if you want. You can zoom in or, or, or do statistics or do whatever else you need to do for the lab. So see about getting logger pro if you don't have it already. And then go and read the the lab handout to see what we're going to do this week.